He was uh, assistant minister in uh, the Ministry of Finance. And therefore, in that regard, he's very versatile with the management of the economy of our country. So we have uh, discussed the issues concerning the management of the economy. Uh, I've also taken the opportunity to brief him on the Building Bridges Initiative, this origin and uh, the purpose and why this initiative is aimed at transforming the country, Kenya, so that we can create the Kenya that the founding fathers of our nation desired uh, by bringing the people together so that we can slay this animal called tribalism uh, and we can attain faster socio-economic growth and development for our people. So, Peter is here. Thank you very much, uh, PM. As uh, the Right Honorable Raila Odinga has said, we've discussed what he has said. We've dwelt at length on the fuel crisis, of which he has commented in the last couple of days. I've given him, from a treasury point of view, the insights that we need to leverage so that the cost of fuel does not go up, so that the common person does not hurt. Any time cost of fuel goes up, the spiral effect hurt the common person first and foremost in a big way. Because the first thing that comes in is the food inflation, and that is captured mostly with the common person. I've given my views to the Right Honorable Raila Odinga, and I hope you'll take them at a higher level and hope that we can maintain the status quo of fuel prices as they were before this new VAT rule. We can have the VAT, but we can reduce other taxes associated with fuel so that the price remains the same or nearer the same. I'm also very pleased that he has, in the meantime, having discussed that as a major issue, he has taken me through the building initiative, which I think is important for our country. Our country is bigger than all of us. And the Right Honorable Raila Odinga and His Excellency the President's handshake on the 9th of March are very key to holding the country together and forging a way in which the country can move together.